Today I'm going to show you what I wore to work as a speech language pathologist. Hey, my name is Cherie and welcome to my fashion and style channel. I started filming these videos to showcase my style, especially in a more professional setting. I created a playlist just in case you're interested in seeing more outfits from me. And yeah, let's talk about this outfit right here. I really love this outfit, by the way. So to start, I have on one of my favorite white shirts. If you know me, I am a white shirt queen, okay? I love an oversized white shirt, and I love a white shirt that has a little something extra to it, a little oomph little statement piece right and in this case this white shirt is from Express and it's beautiful because it has these crystals all over it so it just gives me a little sparkle a little razzle dazzle right <laughs> I love it so much honestly I wish that I had more silver jewelry for moments like this because I would love to put on like a beautiful just simple necklace but silver i wear a lot of gold jewelry as for the pants i got these from express they are a navy blue pinstripe so it just adds to the dimensions of the outfit i have pinstripes on the bottom i have a white top but it has these crystals all over it and let's talk about the shoes now, I'm not even gonna lie, some of my coworkers, they did come for me and my Cinderella slippers, but I don't care. I like them and that's all that matters. <laughs> my flats, so the flats that I have on are from Express. They are a silver metallic pointy toe sling back flat and they're just perfect. Now, are they the most comfortable? I'm not gonna say that because the sling back strap in the back, it kind of started digging into the back of my foot by the end of the day. But all I did was bring that strap right on down, brought it down under my foot, and now I have on a regular old slide. <laughs> so I absolutely love it. This outfit is just so me. And how I style it a little extra, because I have a bum and I don't necessarily want to show it off at work, I tuck my shirt in a little bit in the front and kind of blouse it over. But I left the back kind of out. I mean, you can have it all the way up but I don't I don't like the way that looks so I kind of just leave it it's a little bit more relaxed more chill and yeah but you can do it either or you can tuck it all in you could tuck half of it in it's completely up to you this video is super short so I also wanted to incorporate some clips from my work day so you can check those out right now this is my office we're gonna do a quick tour before we end the video over here is our very large bulletin board. I actually share this office with the occupational therapist and the physical therapist, but they're only here like one or two days out of the week. So, you know, they don't really have many, you know, posters or things like that. So I kind of decorate the room. Here are some post-it notes. I have my students working on their signatures. So they post it up when they're done uh, we work on synonyms a lot of the time because they love to use baby words so if i ask them how are they feeling they'll say they feel happy and i will just tell them to come over to this board and find another word for happy if they're writing sentences i'll just have them write the sentence on a post-it note and we stick it on the board most of my groups are no more than five this is the table. You know, I could have pushed the chairs in, but <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it's more realistic this way. I have a sign-in book for attendance, some work that we've been doing. As you can see, there's like the job interview poster. We've been working on money, the clock. Over here is where I store all of their work. So the folders, and then I have a lot of things in the cabinet, microwave to heat my food. I also have this portable tea kettle, which is amazing, love it. Here is just a mosh podge of stuff. There are games, there are books, workbooks, notebooks, 
One of my students drew this picture of me and I love it so, so much. So it's right there. So I can see it every morning. There goes my welcome to speech OT and PT stars because I used to call my students the speech stars. I mean, I guess I still do, but it was a thing last year. I had like all of their names written on gold stars going around this wall and it was pretty cool. This year I went with a very green Zen vibe, I guess. Their names are on the wall. And over here I have a printer. This is where I sit, like my little desk area. It is pretty much a mess. <laughs> but I wasn't going to clean it up just for a video, you know? Like, it's just realistic. This is how my desk looks, so... I just got to work, so there's my bag. I have my paper towel because someone is always blowing their nose. They're always cleaning something up. I also have this cute, um, what do you call it, oil diffuser. And when the smoke comes out, it kind of looks cool because there's a coffee cup that I put in front of it. So it looks like hot coffee. <laughs> you get it? I thought that was cute. Here are some uh, Scholastic magazines that I like to use. Papers, a lot, a lot of papers. Um, the job is mostly paperwork, unfortunately. So that's where I keep a lot of my session notes and just information about my students. This is where I work at mostly. Um, nothing too crazy. Pens, pencils, scissors, stored paperwork always have my granny here. I have these plants. I used to have three, one of them broke, so that's that. I'm about to eat my breakfast. This is my portable heater. So that comes in very handy during the summer because they have the AC on very, very high and it gets extremely cold in here. This is so cute. I got this off of Timu and it's just a phone holder so I sit my phone on the folding chair and I could watch shows I could watch whatever I need to watch right there at my desk from my phone very cute so that's pretty much it for my office not a lot going on, just enough, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in seeing more of these outfits that I wear to work, you can check the playlist out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've been coming to my channel for a while now and you've been enjoying my videos, definitely consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. <laughs> Again, thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.